Made in the USA, that's the motto of many American firms. Now a new organization aims to verify reality matches the motto and to certify companies are in fact homegrown and keep jobs here. Today that organization made a stop in Sarasota. SNN local news reporter Jim Spiewak has more on that. Well, three companies in both Sarasota and Venice are getting recognized and certified for their work in keeping jobs and products here in the U.S. The creation of jobs is the single most important issue that's facing this country right now. Made in America. Those words were once a way of life. But for the last few decades, Americans watched millions of jobs get shipped overseas. Now, Made in USA certified is working to restore the mantra that USA products and jobs can and should stay here. We can't be a country based on service industries alone and tourism. We have to be making things and innovation and manufacturing go hand in hand. Julie Reiser is the founder of the third party certifier Made in USA certified. After a thorough audit process, her firm certifies a company as Made in the USA. 75% or more of the components need to be of U.S. origin and it needs to be substantially transformed here in the United States. The third party servicer made a stop at Tervis Tumbler in Venice on Monday as part of its nationwide bus tour. Tervis was among three local companies getting the seal of approval that their products are now certifiably made in the U.S. It's uh, really important to us that our customers uh, understand what they're getting, where it's made, um, in the lifestyle that it embodies. Octex is a Sarasota-based manufacturing company who also received the approval. The company recently expanded and added to their workforce. CFO Dan Malin says the jobs that were once outsourced are starting to come back. A lot of people have gone overseas. They realize that it just wasn't uh, for them. Uh, pro problems with privacy and hands-on quality. With the upcoming presidential election, American jobs will no doubt be on the minds of millions. Thanks, Jim. Now, to get some more information on this new organization and its goals, you can go to usjobsprotect.org.